EA Sports College Basketball 2010 features every Division I college basketball team, including the Chanticleers. Me and Joe didn't even know the game came out. We went to Walmart, and both of us bought it, like, right then. We was like, we're seeing it. Is this the last time we'll probably be on the, on the college? Well, this is the last time we'll be on a college video game, so we bought it, like, right on the spot, just because we were in the game. The game on Xbox 360 keeps real-time stats for CCU as the players can check in on the latest standings, RPI, and even statistics before playing the simulated version. There aren't any names, but the jersey numbers match the CCU roster. EA Sports uses a number of resources to give players a rating for the game, and most CCU players are not too happy with the video game version of themselves. The video game Chad Gray is horrible. I don't even play with him, man. He makes me mad. What, what's wrong with video game Chad Gray? Everything. His grading is down. He can't do anything good. Everything's horrible. Video game Danny Neem is not rated too well. I think I'm about like a 49. I think all four of the freshmen are like a 49 or something. Can't shoot really, very well, can't do much very well. So we're just going to try to improve those ratings as we go <laughs> throughout my career, and hopefully I won't be so bad next year. John Fagg, he's a monster on the game. The monster, he's like the go-to guy, him and Joe. <laughs> When is video game John Pack going to enter the body of the real John Pack? Because that, that video game John Pack is a beast. I mean, see what it is? I just wear really baggy clothes. So, you know, I mean, I might have a little something on here. I mean, that's a little bit ridiculous. I mean, the, the guys at EA maybe made me a little too big. But, you know, it's nothing too far off. The gameplay is realistic. This Mario Edwards 3 well, looks a lot like the real thing at Kimball Arena. The players have the right jersey number and height and weight, but as far as the facial profiles go, it's a little bit off. That's like Logan Johnson if he was in a boy band or something, <laughs> right? Then there's the video game version of Coach Ellis. He got the right tie on, but the suit is nothing like a Cliff Ellis suit, and I don't know who he looks like. <laughs> John Pack and Joe Harris played a game with Joe taking Radford and John playing for the Shauna Clears. Coach Ellis would agree with this scouting report on the keys to victory in the Shauna Clears Radford video game matchup. So that was John Pack as Joe Harris making the bucket. It wasn't even that good of a dunk. I blocked that in the Raffer game, actually. Real life was better than the video game. Definitely, definitely, oh. definitely. That's a good look for me. Oh. I saw him double team and kick it out to Pack, backing him down, backing him. Oh, Perikowski went for the steal. Pack with a dunk, the authoritative dunk. <laughs> Getting back into the 2 2 1 is a tough game. We gotta come back. Coastal's down one with 38 seconds to go. Logan, Logan. Logan with the dunk! Logan with the dunk! I like the dunk. Shows a, lot, shows a lot of athleticism, you know? You don't see that much out of me, so it's good to see on the game. Mario Edwards 3 gave CCU the video game Big South title in a 47-43 win, which Coastal fans hope is a glimpse of the future. I mean, for the wrench part, yeah, but for like, I'd like it not to be as a close game, you know, maybe like Coastal 90, Radford 70 or something like that, so it's not so nerve-wracking, though. <laughs> it was a good game, but in the end, you got to pull for the Coastal guy. I mean, we are Coastal players. I mean, Art had a big game, but John Pat came down the stretch with his guy and Logan with the dunk, and I don't know what happened. He changed the game. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed that people made the game. They got my rating to 80. I think I should be a 99. Let me stop playing, but nah, he's pretty good. I just wish they put the little short sleeve shirt on. That would have made it complete. 